The history of economic cycles from about 1800 to 2000 and the people who made that history. The first person, surprisingly, is not an economist but an astronomer, Sir William Herschel. The man, the first person to discover a planet in modern times uh, since antiquity. He also made discoveries such as that Mars and Jupiter rotated on their axes and that there were double stars so that gravity existed outside the solar system. So when Sir William Herschel said that there was an anti-correlation between the price of wheat and the stop and the sunspot cycle, uh, it was taken seriously. He was a very great scientist. Later, the people have tried to say that this is a mistaken idea that the sun is associated with weather and crops. But in very recent times, some of these things have begun to be re-established. In the 1860s, Clement Juglar discovered that there were cycles of 9 to 11 years in interest rates and prices, now known as the Juglar cycle. In the 1870s, William Stanley Jevons recognised a business cycle which he thought was associated with the 11-year sunspot cycle. It is said that in the 1890s the Rothschilds discovered the 40-month cycle in console prices and that they used this for investment purposes. Later the Rockefellers are supposed to have done the same with the 18-year property cycle. W. D. Gann is legendary for his investment making lots of money in the early 1900s. He discovered that there were a series of nested cycles harmonically related to each other. A cycle of about 40 months in interest rates and console prices was named after Joseph Kitchen who reported it in 1923. Life is a phenomenon. Its production is due to the influence of the dynamics of the cosmos on a passive subject. It lives due to dynamics. Each oscillation of organic pulsation is coordinated with a cosmic heart in a grandiose hole of nebulous stars, the sun and the planet. So said Alexander Krzyzewski, an interdisciplinary psychonauts researcher who discovered that the cosmos is the cause in acting through the sun, results in the changes in the affairs of men and those things around them. While Chichesky was doing his work in Russia and Europe, Raymond Wheeler was doing similar research in America from a slightly different perspective but discovering a wide base of cycles and many things. Arian Elliott was an accountant who studied the stock market and came to the conclusion there were many waves nested within other waves, which is known as Elliott Wave Theory. Joseph Schumpeter was a famous economist who proposed that the different cycles reported by Kondratiev for 54 years, Kuznets of 18 years and Jugler of 9 years and perhaps the Kitchen cycle also were actually harmonically related. In 1939 he published a two volume book on business cycles and had a profound influence on the development of economic theory. Around 1940 Simon Kuznets proposed that there existed a cycle of 17 or 18 years in property prices. He published books that were very influential in the development of economics and received the 1971 Nobel Prize. The American 18-year cycle in property prices is named the Kuznet cycle after him. Edward R. Dewey was really the father of modern cycles research. He studied cycles and everything. Originally an economist, he began to see the patterns in all that the scientists and economists and others were finding and developed and started the foundation for the study of cycles so that many different people would come together and bring all of their research together and under try to understand the pattern of how it was found that the cosmos was influencing life on earth and producing cycles and many different things in the economy in other aspects of our lives. J. M. Hurst 
brought the introduction of computers into the cycles analysis field. And his book, Magic of Stock Transaction Timing, was a, a big seller and taken up by many investors. G'day, I'm Ray Tone from New Zealand. This has been a very brief summary of the history of cycles and the important people, many of them very famous in their fields who have made cycles discoveries. And yet today I find, when I try to put information into Wikipedia about these cycles research and the field of the study of cycles, I constantly fight battles to have it deleted uh, because so many people have been brought up today not knowing about the study of cycles and believing that no such field exists and yet people have had Nobel Prizes for it and uh, have been the accolades of other famous people. Uh, when Dewey started the foundation for the study of cycles, there were people that belonged to it who were the heads of large corporations, the heads of departments and universities, and even a vice president. A number of Nobel Prizes from different, different fields were members of the foundation for the study of cycles. We were in danger of all of the knowledge of cycles being lost because it's unfashionable. Yes, even cycles in fashion exist and it seems there are times when they go away for a while. But I try to keep this knowledge alive so that others may learn from it and develop it further in the future. Thanks.